In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from some applications of trigonometry chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is of one mark, the second sub question is of two marks, and it has an or question as well. That is, either you can attempt the first one or the second one. And the third sub question is of one mark. So, let us start with the first sub question now. Radio towers are used for transmitting a range of communication services, including radio and television. The tower will either act as an antenna itself or support one or more antennas on its structure. On a similar concept, a radio station tower was built in two sections, that is section A and section B. Tower is supported by wires from a point O. Distance between the base of the tower and the point O is 36 cm. From point O, the angle of elevation to the top of the section B is 30 degrees and the angle of elevation of the top of section A is 45 degrees. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. First question is, find the length of the wire from the point O to the top of the section B. So before we proceed, let us try to understand the question first. So here, in the initial first paragraph, they have explained how radio towers work and where are they used. And in the next part of this paragraph, they have given that, on a similar concept on how the radio towers are being used, another radio station tower was built. So here we can see in this diagram, a radio tower is being given and it has been divided into two sections, that is section A and section B. And they have given that this tower has been supported by wires as we can see here, that is OA and OB are the wires and these two wires have been connected to the point O. And they have given that the distance between the base of the tower so this AP is a tower. So the distance between the base of this tower and the point O is 36 cm. And angle of elevation of point A and point B are also given. In the first question, we need to find out the length of the wire from point O to the top of the section B. That means we have to focus on this line OB to find out the length of the wire. And to find out the length of the wire, let us focus on this triangle OBP. So the same triangle I have redrawn over here. And at point B, I have marked it as right angle because the tower is going to be standing straight with respect to the ground. So obviously, they are going to make a right angled triangle. So triangle OPB is going to be right angled at point P, that is base of the tower. And here, since angle of elevation of point B with respect to O was given as 30 degrees, it is marked over here. And the distance between point P and O is 36 centimeter. Now, since we need to find out the length of OB, that is this wire, let us make use of trigonometric ratio. And to find which trigonometric ratio we have to use here, let us find out which is the opposite side, which is the hypotenuse and which is the adjacent. Now remember, the side opposite to the concerned angle given always becomes the opposite side. So BP becomes the opposite side. And the side which is opposite to the 90 degrees will always become the hypotenuse. So OB is the hypotenuse. And default OP becomes the adjacent side. Now, in this triangle, we are supposed to find out the hypotenuse, that is length of OB. And OP is already given to us as 36 cm. So, we do not need the opposite side. And the trigonometric ratio which makes use of the hypotenuse and the adjacent side is cos or cosine. So, let me write here. So, cos of angle O is going to be equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So, angle O we have it as 30 degrees. So, cos of 30 degrees will be equal to Adjacent side is OP and hypotenuse is OB. Now cos 30 is a standard angle and so its value is going to be square root of 3 over 2 is equal to the length of OP we know that it is 36 cm over OB. This is what we need to find. Now in the next step we are going to take OB on the left hand side and root 3 over 2 on the right hand side. So here we get OB is equal to, now 2 multiplies with 36 so we get 36 times 2 and square root of 3 divides the numerator. So we get OB is equal to 36 times 2 over square root of 3. Now since the denominator is a square root, we have to rationalize it. So here we have written OB is equal to 36 times 2 gives us 72 over square root of 3. Now rationalizing means we have to take this denominator and multiply with the numerator and as well as the denominator. So here we have multiplied square root of 3 with the numerator and denominator. So here we are going to get OB is equal to 72 times square root of 3 over, 
Now square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9 and square root of 9 is 3. So here we get 72 square root of 3 over 3. Now 3 divides 72 that is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 24 times is 72. So here we get the final answer that is the length of OB as 24 square root of 3 centimeter. This is our answer and this is the length of the wire OB. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Find the distance AB. So here since we need to find out the distance AB, we can first find out the height AP from triangle APO and then find out the height BP from the right angle triangle BPO and subtract these two heights therefore giving us AB. So let us proceed by considering this bigger right angled triangle APO first. So this is the same right angled triangle APO. Now here the angle of elevation of section A from point O was given as 45 degrees. So I have marked it over here. Base of the tower and point O is 36 centimeter. Now since we are trying to find out the height AP, let us again make use of the trigonometric ratio. Now here in this case, the side opposite to this 45 degree is AP. So AP becomes the opposite side and the side opposite to the 90 degree is the hypotenuse. So OA becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. And here since we need to find out the opposite side and adjacent side is given to us, we do not need the hypotenuse. And the trigonometric ratio that makes use of the opposite side and the adjacent side is tan. So here we have written tan of angle O is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. And angle O is given as 45 degrees. So tan of 45 degrees is equal to opposite side is AP and adjacent side is OP. Now tan 45 is a standard angle and its value is 1. So 1 is equal to AP over the value of OP is 36 centimeter. Now taking 36 on the left hand side, it multiplies with 1 giving us AP value as 36 centimeter. So we got the height of the tower AP as 36 centimeter. Now similarly, let us focus on the right angle triangle BPO. Now in this right angle triangle, we are trying to find out the height BP and the angle of elevation of point B with respect to O is given as 30 degrees. So we have marked it over here and the base length is 36 centimeter and since this is the side again opposite to our given angle. BP becomes the opposite side. OB is going to be the hypotenuse as it is opposite to the 90 degrees. And OP becomes default the adjacent side. So here again we are going to make use of tan trigonometric ratio. Tan of angle O is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Now in this case the angle O is 30 degrees. So tan of 30 degrees is equal to opposite side is BP and adjacent side is OP. Now here tan 30 is again a standard angle and its value is going to be 1 over square root of 3 is equal to BP over OP value is 36 centimeter. Now taking 36 on the left hand side, we are going to get the value of BP as 36 over square root of 3. Now again the denominator is a square root over here, so we have to rationalize it. So here we have written BP is equal to 36 over square root of 3 times root 3 over root 3. So the numerators will multiply together giving us 36 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 gives us 3. Now 3 divides 36 that is 3 1 times is 3 and 3 12 times is 36. So we get the value of BP as 12 root 3 centimeter. Now here in this case we need to find out the value of AB. So here let us consider this diagram over here again. Since we are trying to find out the distance AB, we are going to take the total height AP and subtract the height BP from it. So here we have written AB is equal to AP minus BP. And the value of AP we had got it as 36 minus BP value we had got it as 12 root 3. Now here we are going to factorize it one step more. So 12 and 36, 12 is a common factor. So we can take it out and inside the bracket remains 12 3 times is 36. So here we have written 3 minus in the second term only root 3 remains inside the bracket. So the distance AB is given as 12 times 3 minus root 3 centimeter. Now moving on to the OR question. Find the area of triangle OPB. So let us consider this triangle now. Now since we need to find out the area of the triangle OBP. We have the formula for finding the area of triangle as 1 over 2 times base times height. 
Now in this case, in this triangle, the base is OP and the height is BP. So since this is an OR question, remember that we have to first find out the height BP using trigonometric ratios. Now since we have already found out the height of BP in the previous part of this question, I will be skipping that part and we had got the value of BP as 12 root 3 centimeter. So here we are just going to plug in the values now. So area of the triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times base is OP and height is BP. And here we have the value of OP as 36. So 1 over 2 times 36 times the height BP is 12 root 3. Now simplifying this further, the 2 from the denominator cancels the 12 from the numerator. So 2 1 times is 2 and 2 6 times is 12. And 36 times 6 gives us 216. So the area of triangle is 216 times root 3 centimeter square. This is our answer. Now moving on to the last sub question. Find the height of the section A from the base of the tower. Here point P is the base of the tower. So basically they have asked us to find out the height AP. And we had already found out the height of AP in the previous part of this question. So here let me just give a brief explanation. So in this case we are going to take the right angled triangle APO and the angle of elevation of point A from point O is 45 degrees. So we have marked it over here. And since we had to find out AP, AP was the opposite side. So we made use of the tan trigonometric ratio that is tan of angle O is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Angle O is 45 degrees. So tan of 45 is equal to AP over OP. Now tan 45 is a standard angle. So its value is 1. 1 is equal to AP over OP value is 36. Now multiplying 36 with 1, we get AP value as 36 centimeter. We have already done this in part 2 of this question. So if you want in details explanation, you can check out the second part of this question. So here the height of section A from the base is going to be 36 centimeter. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.